Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Noble Fate series. So uh, there's been quite a bit of off-camera work that I've obviously done since the last episode and uh, let's go through it very quickly so we can skip to the events that are happening in this episode. So first what we've done is we've covered up this whole middle area so that's going to be our hallway and what I was also hoping to do is create this little like a balcony that would act as a dining room but for some reason it seems it's not really recognizing that we've got some tables and chairs in and I mean I can quickly prove this as well if we go into the this layout we can see that tier zero dining room needs a table and a chair and that's what we definitely have here and I believe there's no caps or anything in the building there's doors all around if we oh okay so we do have a raid coming in, but let's uh, go through this real quick. So yeah, you can see it's all enclosed, but it seems maybe or perhaps this room is just too big. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely not recognizing. Okay, you're going to come back. There's four of them attacking us. So we will take all three of you and also all three of you. Everyone ahead about there. Ooh, that just missed us. Okay, unfortunately, he activated his, uh, what's it called, like uh, the ignore ability pretty early, so that's good. There's another arrow flying our way, and no. What we'll do is meet, you're going to turn around. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. And go and uh, start fighting. What about the rest of our colonists? Uh, yep, yeah. go this way. Okay, too fast for us, it seems. Elfrida. Michael, you've got a thick skin. You're gonna go and attack him, Cap. Let's uh, raise this and Baby Dragon. What we might... Oh, wait. Oh, that's two of our guys. Okay, everyone's attacking you. But what we'll do is... Baby Dragon, if you go over here... And maybe take Alvi. What about the other few? What are you doing there? you attacking our buildings? Well, that's not very nice, is it? Hmm. Ray's not going to be very strong. Uh, let's see. Baby dragon. Yeah, just go over there. I believe there was four of them, wasn't it? We definitely see, uh, saw four. Okay, so one is down. You guys are just mocking around here. Wait, can we? Yes. Okay, there we go. Now, all of you guys, what are you doing? Meet. Get in here. Elfrida. Okay. Now, Alvi, if we quickly check your jobs. I mean, our food situation is still pretty bad, to be honest. So I don't want to get another colonist. However, if they are good. Uh, no, cleaning and hauling is not that awesome, actually. Alright, take him down. Just two more to go, and the, I, I guess the fourth one... Wait, fourth one is dead already. Okay, that's why. Alright, don't let them escape. You guys are just too slow. Maybe that's the downside of having volunteers. And Baby Dragon, let's go and help out as well. Oh, there we go. It, it is done. Beautiful. So the last one, what about your jobs? Guarding, foraging is eight, and you absolutely love it, but cleaning and hauling doesn't seem to be very favored activity and same oh cleaning actually is very high but hauling is not so do you know what it is fine are you all okay meet you can uh, bugger off now as well all right there we go raise back to work and fantastic right so that was uh, back to our updates yeah so this area is done here which is good now here i believe everything is still the same we got a nice storage area as well, and you're not set for anything, so... Okay, let's do this real quick as well. We'll base them, and done. Crafting area, cooking area, beautiful. So, to solve this dining area problem, what we shall probably do is, if we grab some walls, let's do like a small area right about here. Okay, and we'll give you a door as well, and that's going to become essentially the dining room for us until we find a slightly better place pretty sad that this didn't work out as i was hoping but it's okay now the next thing we have dug ourselves down a little bit more 
And yeah, so this whole area... Oh, do you have corpses? Yes, you do. Okay, so we've got a bit of a butchering area, and then we got more stairs going down. And what I am doing here is I'm hoping to create some cells for our volunteer uh, prisoners, I mean. So once we have enough volunteers, what we'll do is turn them into, into rooms instead of prisons. But for now, I, I think Aubrey hasn't quite joined us, but I believe we can actually recruit him. Or her. Depends which one it is. Uh, okay, so we got the room set up, and you can just carry on building things, I suppose. I believe, yeah, there's quite a few things in the queue already. And meat, is the skull done? Ray, you're learning this, but maybe we give it a slightly high priority so it gets done a little bit quicker. Okay. And yeah, the next priority will be really just to bring everything over. I don't think we have a lot of things left in here. Yep, just a couple of um, more items, I suppose. And these rental rooms, I think they can be... Yeah, we, we can just demolish these areas. Because we built those spare ones in here, didn't we? Yeah, no, that's a cell. What about these rooms? These are... Oh, these are for our volunteers. Okay, two of those are for rent, two of them are cells, and these are for rent as well. Okay, so I think we have enough space. So we could, let's say, if you are a cell... Are you a cell? No, that's for renting. Okay. I suppose they'll automatically bring the prisoner over once uh, we get rid of this area. Okay, happy days. It is evening, so we'll skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. And here we go. It's another day. We've got quite a few things queued up in here. Planting, it seems... Oh, well, that's the liver. Wait, that's the livering. Planting 117. So, yeah, they'll be planting quite a few things. Uh, whilst this is happening, I'd like actually to have Baby Dragon go and recruit Aubrey. Wait, you're naked. Um, right, so what of... It's very difficult to see right now, so we're not going to zoom around the map just yet. But before it started raining, so overnight I was going around the map and I noticed... Let's see if we can find it. Yep, this area is pretty empty. So everyone's either kind of disappeared and I missed the notification, or they might have joined another bandits clan. And in the no notifications we can see actually there is another clan right about there. And if I go around the map, I don't really see... Oh, wait a second. It seems they've moved here. So we got Glim. And he probably didn't steal all this stuff alone. So he must have some associates somewhere. Okay, we can uh, ignore this for a little bit. But Ray definitely wants his things back as well. Uh, right, right, right. So we are gonna have to apprehend them at some point. Alright, baby dragon, wait a second. Why don't you go and meet Aubrey first. Okay, let's go and speak to him or her. Let's have a look. Aubrey, if we grab you. Okay, female, and you're good. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, baby dragon changed his mind, so that's fine. I don't think we will be wanting to hire them, or do we? Actually, never mind. Let's uh, try and hire her. Offer serfdom, because if you're sitting here and eating our food and having this lovely little room for free, you might as well do some work for us. Okay, end the conversation. There we go. Beautiful. So let's uh, quickly set this up as well. And here we go. So he, her main priority is going to be obviously firefighting if there is a fire, then hauling since no one else really likes doing that and cleaning. After that, we'll do some logging, picking some berries, I believe. Yes, here we go. Then maybe some building and crafting if we have time. And if we have completed all our tasks, then the last thing will be to do some mining. Okay, happy days. Now, we have already tasked to remove all the roofs. Yes, that is definitely in the queue. But as I said before, there's so many tasks already in the queue, so it's going to take them a little bit of time to catch up with everything. Now, I wonder how many bandits are in this area. Oh, this side. We saw one. Okay, if we bring the level down, okay, there's two. 
two of them. Hmm. And they're pretty strong. Is that a bronze hammer? Yes, it is. And this one is a wooden one. Okay, what about uh, prestige? That one's low. Bowie is quite high, actually. 153, which means he has a couple good items. But since there's only two of them, we might be able to... Yeah, 155. So we got pretty good items as well, I believe. Bronze axe over there. And... Oh, that's a crown. What do you have? Bronze axe as well. Okay, so we're pretty well equipped. And what's the time right now? It is still in the morning. Okay, do you know what? Actually... Are you already all the way out there? Yes, you are. Um... <laughs> that's fine. Everyone, please head this way. We're gonna try and get Ray's belongings back, so I'll speed up the time real quick. Okay, here we go. We got two of our colonists here. Who's missing? Baby dragon. Of course. How far are you? Well, not too far, so... Let's uh, line you all up, and the two of you, since you have this ability, why don't you go and attack... Actually, yeah, let's take one at a time. Okay, where are you off to? Okay, there are now enemies. We got three against one. We should be able to... What are you guys doing? Let's try this again. I don't think he's invisible, is he? No, he doesn't have the shield on. Okay, there we go. One is down. And all three... Oh, there's another one. Okay, Bowie. We're gonna try and get our items back. So, everyone... Off we go, come on. Three against one, we should be able to do it. Cap might have to retreat a little bit. Okay. Can you please make your way here, and maybe you just stand in the back lines to help us out just a little bit. Okay, here comes you as well. Maybe we'll wait for you. Yep, let's uh, let you come all the way down here. Wait, Cap, you had a little bit less health, right? Oh wait, you're already dying, well that's no good. And baby dragon. Oh dear. Uh oh. That's not good. Seven hours. And you've got a pretty fancy weapon there as well now, don't you? Bronze one. Okay. Well, you still have about seven hours. Can we meet? Can you please. Uh, Cap's fallen down. Oh dear. Okay, what about you guys? Are you able to. Knock him out. Oh, wait, since you're here, why don't you help us out? Or actually, you should treat Cap. Take them. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not it. You're gonna get out of here. Thank you. Okay, so you're happy. What are you guys doing now? Can we still go and attack him, is the question. So you're being treated, that's fine. You're healing yourself. Okay, alright, cheese will leave. Well, good, about time. Can you meet? Can you heal, baby dragon? No. Oh, you're fine, okay. Just bandage yourself up and that should be good. Okay, everything should be marked for dismantling and hopefully we'll uh, try and recover some of our things as well. Oh wow, that was uh, quite a big one. Uh, glad no one no one died from our, our side. And I'm very happy that we got rid of those bandits as well. Alright, so it seems the dining room is pretty much done. Actually, they are using these ones too. Oh, we can't move everything at the same time, so we're going to have to do it one by one. Ah, oh, wait. You can't be moved. These ones can be, but not these tables. 
Well, that's a, that's a shame, but I guess we'll have to dismantle you then. Okay, yep, and okay, fine. Uh, how we shall do this is maybe we'll move you. Well, anyways, it is nighttime. We'll skip it, and uh, by morning, hopefully, we'll have everything, you know, at least set to move over there. All right, and there we go. Here's another day, and since we pretty much wasted a uh, whole of yesterday trying to get rid of those bandits, I hope today is going to be the day where we get quite a few things built. So if you look at the progress update on the ground, how are things here? Not really good. Okay. They haven't really done much, but that's okay. It's understandable. We'll uh, just try and start turning them into bedrooms. Oh, we are missing some walls over here. So let's uh, try and fix you up real quick as well. Just one more extra wall and we definitely need a bed. So that way these can be turned into the rooms for our volunteers and hopefully they'll clean up all the rocks as well. Okay, there we go. All the floors are in place. How many logs do we still have? Not too many. Oh dear. Okay. Well, oh, let's take these ones out. Maybe we slow down the time just a tiny bit. Okay, winter is done. We're back in spring, which means we should be planting quite a few things as well, right? Yep. The whole cornfield is now full of corn. And the other ones, uh, we haven't really got that far yet, but that's okay. I'm sure they will be able to catch up with their tasks if we stop giving them so many new ones. Right. Okay. How about this? Have we emptied this area out? A little bit, but not too much. I think it's good time to also check what sort of belongings they have. Does everyone have a bow? Yes, they do, and they also seem to have clothes, which is lovely. Well, most of them. Volunteers, they, they have a few things, so that that's okay. Now, we have some high prestige items in here, actually. What is this? Okay, can, does anyone like it? Ooh, there is... Let's give this to meat. Okay, that raises your prestige. And what about you? Do you have anything in the upper section? That's 20, but if we give you this one... Oh wow, okay, 378 prestige now, so that's uh, looking very lovely indeed. And it seems we have also learned some bronze hammers. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. I've expanded the stockpile here a little bit as well, since we have so many more uh, people that we downed. Actually, those bandits, I think they recovered. But yeah, we'll just have a bit more space in here. We should be able to go through the things. Uh, do we... Can we loot anyone? Anyone else? Ah, uh, you can be looted. And... Maybe we'll butcher you. Okay. There we go. Let's get some more meat. We've got food for two years, but it would be lovely if we increase it even further. Now, we have moved these chairs over. Uh, right. Another raid. Hmm. Well, that's great. At least it's not in the middle of the night, so I suppose we we can be thankful. I hope we get through it before everyone is going to bed. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes peeled and see which angle are they attacking us from. Okay, there they come. There's one, two, three at least. Maybe another one hiding somewhere. But it's time to call everyone right about here. Let's gather up. Uh, me, yeah, we're, we're gonna need you guys as well. Oh, wait, are you gonna walk through those bandits? I guess we'll see. Let's speed up the time a little bit. Oh, they're definitely after meat now. Wait a second. Do not go anywhere. Uh, well, that's a, that's a very high arrow. Oh, wow. Okay, why don't we send a little welcoming party? Hmm... Baby dragon, if you can please make your way. Wait, where are you guys off to? Michael. Oh, I think I know where they are going. Is there some silly... Uh, Ray. Right. Baby dragon, if you go and attack this one. Cap, where are you? Now, we really want to try and 
divert them away from Ray, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Keep running. Michael, help them out as well. Oh, wow. Wait, maybe they're trying to destroy our things. Oh, yeah, they seem to be. Okay, well, that's good. Ray, what I'm thinking is maybe you don't... You seem so slow. So why don't you just do your thing? Oh, Cap is alone. You're retreating already. Uh, right. How about Michael come a little bit this way as well? Where is Meat? Meat, you're here. Let's see if we can cut them off as they are retreating over here. Uh, wait, are you climbing or trying to climb up that hill? Oh, uh, yes, you are. Okay. There we go. Michael, you're, you're pretty useless. Just go and do whatever you want to do. It's fine. And Ray, same with you. Alright, are we able to catch up with them? And no, Cap, you're just missing all your shots. Uh, baby dragon. Let's take control. Okay, here's one, here's two, three. And you're down. Great. Now, let's relieve you of your duties. Cap, you're just too slow. Okay. Now, who do we have here? Baru. Baru, what kind of things do you like? Okay, you're not very good. Well, that's fine. We'll just leave you. Uh, you're gonna die in three hours. Which is very unfortunate. Don't get me wrong. It's really sad. But... I think... You sort of have to... Uh, face the consequences of your actions. So if you do decide to attack our colony, well, unless you're going to be useful to us, we don't really have to help you out. Anyways, you're just relaxing by standing here. Fine. That's okay. We'll leave you be. Uh, these tables are now down, which means we can build new ones right about here. If we select tables and we'll do those modular ones because they look a little bit nicer. Okay. Let's have these three done as quick as we can, and maybe this turns into a tiny room. But okay, it is night time, so we're gonna try and skip this. Okay, here we go. It seems like Meat is pretty greedy. He wants another chair, so we've uh, asked them to dismantle the old one. And we'll, uh, well, we'll try and build you a slightly better one if we can. Now, this zone in here. Hmm... Maybe it's the problem of modular tables. Or maybe we don't have... Wait a second. If we go into rooms and common, what do you uh, say about this? So this is just... Oh, it is a dining room. Okay. Well, good. It's a tier one. If we want to make it to tier two, we're going to need another chair. And I think we can accomplish that pretty easily. It would be nice if this table is just a little bit bigger to make sure that everyone can fit their plates on it. And we'll do a couple more chairs as well. Okay, get these built first. Do we have enough logs? Yes, we do. Quite a few there. And okay, Meat now has a 9p chair, so that's, uh, that's all good. Okay, uh, that corner is done, which means we can build these two chairs as well. And hopefully this will turn into a well, it is a tiny room already. Yep. Uh, tier 2 now. Beautiful. Okay, that's fantastic. And hopefully they will chill out in that zone as well. Uh, now, cool. Let's have a look uh, downstairs real quick. Why haven't we brought any corpses here? If we give you a slightly higher priority, let's see what happens. I think it would be also smart if we start stacking some food. Oh, maybe we do corpses on one side and meat on the other, so may perhaps they're not able to put corpses on the shelves. So let's give it a try. If we expand this area by another two, so it looks uh, about the same size as it is on the other side. And what I'm thinking, I'm not going to put the walls in these sections just yet, because I'd like to, well, just in case we change our mind about the size of this room. But what we can do is we can definitely have walls in those sections, right? Yeah, most certainly. Okay, let's add another stone wall right about there, and all we're missing now is just some floors to make it 
look like a nicer room. So there we go. All right, off you go. I hope they can build this wall because this butcher table might be in the way, right? Oh, it is unreachable. Okay, not ideal, but fine. Well, uh, let's move you over there for now. Out of the way so we can start building those last walls. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a look downstairs as well. These rooms are now complete. And that's, uh, that's lovely. It's a tier 4 bedroom. And uh, pretty fancy actually for, for volunteers. Have we done some lights in here? Oh no, we haven't. It is definitely a little too dark in here. So how about we go into lighting walls. And let's just do some basic torches in here. So just, uh, yeah, two of them. And that's already uh, pretty good. Okay, so we definitely... Oh, actually, now that we have those room settings. So this is definitely a dining room. And it seems, even though we have some tables here and chairs, it still doesn't recognize this as a room. So it could be a few reasons. Perhaps because it's um, not everything in the same level, or maybe it's just too big, or it's the combination of both. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, that's just my best guess. Okay, so now, what shall we do next? Let's have a look. Quite a few jumps still in their hmm, schedule here. Quite a few things to build this mantle so that's most likely the also the bandit living spaces and planting all right so what we're gonna do is since it is nighttime there's so many things in the queue so we'll we'll let let it clear up just a little bit off camera and we'll just cut the episode here got a few things done in this one got rid of the bandits got raised belongings back We've got a dining room now and also new living spaces for our volunteers, which is in a quite quite a lovely setting, nicely on the ground, tucked away from everyone else. And uh, yeah, so great episode overall. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.